perfect forecast, Marty, to do something indoors. The Sklar brothers are back in Rochester. Comedians Randy and Jason Sklar performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. Guys, yes. thanks so much for waking Thank up. Thank you so Coming much in. for having Coming in. You're, you're looking a little chilly Jay already. Jay joined the rap group. I, I did. No, uh, I'm enjoying this uh, really, <laughs> Jay's really... got a Canada Goose coat, which I don't know. You know Canada yes, Goose. Yes, I That's do. That's like such an... Ex Why are you I bought a Canada Goose vest. It only cost me $6,000. Oh, yeah. Really? Imagine how much it would have cost with sleeves. And that yeah, would be pretty true. expensive. Although, We're going to jump they, you on the way out of the door. Do they take call them thing. sleeves? Because in Toronto, it's the maple leaves. It's not the leaves. So I feel like they should call them sleeves. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> just a thought. Just an idea. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good where we live in LA. Well, you know so. why they're so expensive? Because this, like Canada Goose Coats, pay for all of, if you buy one, it pays for all of Universal, Universal Health Canadian Care in Canada. Healthcare. Yeah, that's ah. how that works. Yeah. So if he buys a Goose Down coat here, the woman in Halifax can get a hysterectomy. So <laughs> we're just hoping we're just for helping it. people out. Uh, yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. How is it? Th Welcome back. First of well, all, it's great to it's be great back. back. We are glad to have you We've back been in, in town studio. for like 12 hours. We've already had two garbage plates. Yeah, um, just feel good about well, that. Well, not at a restaurant. We just fought a guy behind a dumpster. Fought a hobo behind a dumpster. <laughs> and we're like, we had like a plate. plate of food, and we're like, can we have that? Turns out, same food they serve at Nick Tahoe. Nick Tahoe. There it is. That's from like five years ago. Ah, you, How have we aged? You, I mean, you, you right. look good. Thank you look you. good there, and you look good this morning. Thank you're you. a little tired, but that's We're a little okay. Hey, this is Listen, early for us. You're on LA time. You oh, are on LA time. Nice. Jay thinks it's really cold here. It's freezing. I love that there are still snow mounds. You know those little like black from snow. last winter. <laughs> yeah, last winter, they made like, it through the whole in the corners summer. of parking lots. <laughs> like you, those things melt, and you solve like six cold case files. You're <laughs> like, oh yeah, there, there's the Wilson kid. I thought. He's alive. Wait, we executed. We the executed guy. another man. Oh my God! He because was alive. Of that. He was in the snow mound in the corner of the uh, target. Uh, Sorry. I, I don't know that we've had that happen. Well, I know. But we probably. probably you, you might be right. You How know. does it feel to be back in Rochester? It feels great. Why do you keep on coming back to I Rochester? Know. Because of the it, comedy at the. Carlson. Okay, you guys have. Here's the thing. All right, Rochester, you have. One of the best comedy clubs in the country, in your city. And we know, because we go around to all the cities and all the clubs and we play them. And so we've really, to, for us, because we have kids and we have families, we we're don't like, want to get on planes. We don't want to be on the places. road every week. So weekend. if we show up in your town, there has to be a reason, because we don't want to be on the road. But then when you have a place like this place, when you have Mark Ippolito, the one of the best <laughs> dudes ever, and all the guys over there and and women over at Comedy at the Carlson, they make you feel good. They make it's a the great experience. experience. Like, yeah, it's, it's so, so funny fun. because we're dads, and so we have kids, and we're like the least important, least popular person in our houses. But then you come here, and they're like, "Would you like some? Would you like some dinner? We're going to take care of you." And the crowd's really excited. Would you to like see you. to go to one of fifteen Dunkin' Donuts on the road to get here? We're like, "Yeah." <laughs> Do you sure. want to go to a museum from another business that at one time was thriving but has now failed here? In, uh, in <laughs> Rochester. Like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go to the Blockbuster Museum. No, that's, no, no, they don't have a Blockbuster Museum here. But no, so they, they'll ask you these, all these wonderful things and then take care of it. And you're like, wait, are you honestly talking to me? I need every, like, once in a while, I need someone to take care of me. And these guys do that. It so. sounds like the family does not appreciate nobody. your, your talent. Mean, it, nobody. They absolutely don't appreciate your talent. But we do stupid things and that's, we deserve it. Jay and I were playing in a, a celebrity golf tournament recently. And and I showed up late because I had to drop my kids off at school. I like roll up there, get my clubs, throw them in the cart, go upstairs to get uh, the breakfast burrito that they had. First of all, there were onions in it. I'm like, who puts onions in a breakfast burrito? Not everybody wants the That's onions. That's risky. Keep right. it plain, that, then put the onions I, in I'm onions. not, by the way, endorsing his I, beef with I onions I was like, inside. I'm not eating this thing. So I get out on the course and I'm like super hungry. I don't even know what we're playing the they golf. They give us a bag full of, bag full of stuff. Bag. I rip open the, the food that's in there. I start eating and I'm like, these are the blandest chickpeas I've ever eaten. And They're then dry. I'm like, those are CBD dog treats. Right. So <laughs> that's how much. And I'm like, if I just didn't have to drive my kids to school, I could have showed up on time and I would have seen that these are dog treats. But how did you play in that golf tournament? I, he was he, very calm. I wound up, <laughs> he was very, very calm. I, on hole number three, I chased a squirrel up a tree. <laughs> he peed on a tree and he has no more heartworms. So just, that's the good news. I feel better. All right, we're going to end it on a high note. More with you two when we come back after this break. <laughs> <laughs> um.
on the next Modern Family. Welcome to your pre-recorded seduction. Mama likes. Papa knows. It's white camera action. This won't be the last time you see me on a sheet today. Your screen, yes, that is 100% chance of rain. Grab the galoshes, get the umbrella. You're going to need it all by this afternoon. A high of 63 degrees. All right, back now with Randy and Jason Sklar. You guys are at Comedy at the Carlson tonight yes. and tomorrow. You have a ton of credits yes, behind, you. your, behind your name. Thank both you. Both on, on camera and off camera writing. Yeah, too. sure. We've, yeah. I mean, some of the shows you've done. Sure. Well, we've written a lot of stuff for ourselves because, believe it or not, people don't write great stuff for twins. They tend okay. not to. So, like, a lot of times we have to write what we're going to do and then, you know, and then we actually do it. That's the best thing is if you want to create for yourself so uh you know and then sometimes something great comes along like we just did an arc on what we do in the shadows where we played kind of like property brothers fantastic show you. fantastic great show, show. So, so we, we played show. like guys who had a home flipping show called go flip yourself uh <laughs> and so we were just two guys who were i don't want to give away what it was but it's okay. in this last season and we come to the vampire house and we to come to help them flip help their flip house, and they yeah. shot the whole episode like it was in an HGTV. An HGTV. You know, I like what we do in the shadows is shot very dark. Yes. It's it's all dark. The lighting's dark, the house is dark, and this was like super bright and super and cheery. Upbeat cheery. Mood upbeat. and like all the editing, all the like little lower graphics. third. Look at this. There's a lower third graphic underneath us right now. So it's like a lower third graphic with like fictitious other shows that were on the network. <laughs> it's so dumb. They did so such funny. a good job. Yeah, so it. that was really fun. But that was written for twins, but we improvised a lot of stuff in there as well. And it just was fun. We had a great time. And I mean, improv is kind of part of the part of the shtick, part right. of the, yes. the the talent that you two have. Thank so, you. Thank I mean, just you. sitting here in your, your conversation, your banter back and forth between one so another. So people like you guys do so well like finishing each other's sentences and I like to look at it like I haven't been able to finish a sentence in 50 years. Stop I'm talking sorry, right sorry, now. Uh, no, <laughs> but there is that is there there is a thing. People say, how can you guys sort of work with each other on stage and not step on each other all the time? Part of it, I think, is listening while you're talking, which very few people do anymore ever. You gotta listen to the person you're talking to and also just sort of sensing. We rehearse some just by doing it on stage. The more we do things, you know, for us, when we get a new bit of comedy, it's super exciting. But at the same time, there's a little, it's a little nerve wracking because we're figuring out how we fit into this bit. Sure. Once we do a bit for a while and we start to figure out exactly where we land and our parts in it, then we leave a little room for improv. Yeah, because if you can improvise within it, yes. then you are you can surprise the other person on you stage. Keep it alive. Like the last thing you want to do is step on stage and just be like, here's my lines. This is what it is, and then that's it. You want it to be, especially because live comedy is such a special thing. It's like something you don't know what it's going to be. So pe the, the audience that comes tonight to the early show is going to be different from the audience in the late show. And even though we're doing, you know, set, we have a set of comedy that we're working on right now. This is our new hour that we're hopefully going to record soon as a new hour special. So you get a chance to see that. Each crowd makes a, like if a crowd's encouraging us, then we'll go further in a bit and improvise and just see where it goes. And if a crowd is kind of shutting it down, then we'll move on to the next thing. And so every show is different and all the energies are different. Last night, we did our first show here last night. Crowd was amazing. Mm -hmm. There were more people than we thought would be there. The crowd was awesome. Our uh -huh. energy was great. We did almost, oh, I think over an hour or something like that. And we were planning on only doing, you know, we come just in just under an hour, but we went over an hour because the crowd was encouraging and it was really, really fun. So, so anything can happen. Well, I mean, you guys are big names. You draw the crowd. Mm -hmm. And uh, Todd, are there tickets left? Yes. There are tickets left, so if you want some, you can still get them. Get it. Comedy at the Carlson, foxrochester.com. After the show, we'll put a link up. Uh, guys, thanks so much thank for having you. us. It's Appreciate it. It's a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you. Best thank of luck you. tonight. Thank and you. Yeah, stay warm. Stay warm. Stay warm. Hey, weather, traffic, and local headlines are coming up next.